Topic. I'm 28 male. My wife is 29 female. She slept with my best friend's brother a couple of months ago, and I just found out. Fair warning. This is going to be a long one. So I've been with my wife for just over a decade. We met in high school, started dating, and got married after college. We are each other's first and only romantic relationship. Generally speaking, we have had a pretty solid relationship. We rarely fight, we still love spending time together, and we are 100% best friends. Marriage had, until recently, been easy and wonderful. One evening, last November, she sat me down to talk about our sex life. We have never been super active in the bedroom. It's never really been a problem though. She has always told me that she's just not that much of a sexual person. And I've always respected that. When we do have sex, it's great. No issues there. But she told me that night that she all but lost any passion or desire for me sexually. She was very kind about it. But she didn't try to sugarcoat it. She said that she just really doesn't want it anymore. I told her that I understood. I was hurt, no doubt, but felt like maybe this was a natural thing in a relationship that's been going on since high school, especially considering that neither of us have ever had sex with another person. I still believe that to an extent. Long story short, we talked for a couple of hours and came to the conclusion that this was not great news for our marriage. No big decision were made that night. But we agreed to give ourselves time to think and reflect and have another conversation in a few weeks. When the time came, she told me that there were things I needed to improve if I did would help her get some desire back. It boiled down to the idea that I wasn't making her enough of a priority and I hadn't made her feel sexy or special or attractive in a long time. And she was right. I can admit that. So it became my goal to work on that. And it went really well. After a few weeks of consciously working on it, our sex life lift back up. Better than ever before, actually. It was fantastic. Hooray for honesty and improvement. And then, two nights ago, I saw a bunch of text messages that I wasn't supposed to see. It was my wife's birthday, and we have gotten drunk with some friends. She went to bed at some point, and I stayed up a bit longer. When I went to bed, I realized my phone was dead, and my charger was in another room. Being way too intoxicated and lazy to go get it, I just figured I used her phone to set my morning alarm. I grabbed it, saw that she has gotten a text from my best friend's brother, who by the way, lives a few hours away, and I didn't know exactly how to feel. The last time we saw him was like 8 months ago at my best friend's wedding. After which I recall my wife saying that she always thought he was attractive. Which wasn't a big deal at the time. We're always honest about that kind of stuff. I had no idea they ever texted each other though. I thought maybe it was a happy birthday text. But I wasn't totally sure. I spent a minute or two deciding if I should open it. I had never been a snooper. And I don't like the idea of reading her texts. But this was weird. Maybe it was all the alcohol. But I just felt like something wasn't right. So I opened it. It was not a happy birthday text. To keep this story from getting even longer, I would just say that I found an exchange of texts and pictures that went back about two months. The text and picture were of an adult variety and quite explicit. I was able to surmise that they have met up and hooked up in December when she was in his town visiting old friends. It didn't appear that they have banged since then, but they were sexting on a daily basis. I spent about 5 minutes deciding if I was dreaming, but to come to the inevitable conclusion that I was indeed awake. Enter a new kind of pain and nausea that I have never experienced before. With my decision making skills compromised by bourbon. I decided to wake her up and confront her. She started off by denying everything, but she was still very drunk and half asleep and not making a lot of sense. Eventually, when she woke up a bit more, 
She admitted it all, confirmed what I figured out from the text. Then she spent some time blaming me, saying that I've driven her away with my previously discussed lack of marital prioritization. I was a raging dick throughout the conversation, telling her that she was a nasty person and a HO. I'm deeply ashamed of my behavior that night, but holy cow, if you never accidentally stumbled on your high school sweetheart turned wife blatant infidelity, it's effing sucks. Yesterday, when we were both sober, we talked again, and it was a pretty awful conversation, but a bit more civilized. She took back the blame, apologized profusely, and told me to do whatever I needed to do. The thing is, I have no idea what I want to do. So like many before me, I've come here to seek your advice. She had to leave on a work trip for a few days, which is actually pretty good timing considering I don't want to be around her right now. And I'm just sitting here wallowing in self-pity and debating what to do next. I love this woman with every beat of my being, but also completely hate her right now. My question for you all, what do I do? Divorce seems like an easy answer, but I can't wrap my brain around that yet. People come back from cheating, right? Or is it actually a terrible, horrible person that I need to get far away from and work on starting over again? I don't effing know. I'm lost. This is the worst situation I've ever dealt with. Which silver lining makes me grateful for how easier my life has been. And I can't figure anything out. Thank you for reading this. I'm sorry if this was long and or confusing at any point. I needed to get things out of my brain to begin processing this step. Much love to all of you. Update in early 2019, I caught my wife having an affair. We had a lot of issues in our relationship that were likely never going to be fixed and the affair was the final nail in the coffin. Why it took us a few months to make the decision final, we separated in June and we're divorced by October. And today, I am the happiest I've ever been. I spent the first six months of my new single life going out and having fun in a way that I've never experienced before. Brief fling with a handful of women, which was actually quite important for my self-confidence. As it turns out, that was fun for a while. But then, the pandemic happened. Don't know if you've heard about it and I had to put that life on pause. And then a friend who I have been crushing on for a little while asked if I wanted to be her quarantine buddy, just so neither of us would have to be stuck at home alone. And well, one thing led to another, and here I am falling in love in a way that not long ago felt like I never would again. We have been officially dating for a couple of months and quarantine life has definitely sped up our relationship in a way neither of us could ever experience. And quarantine life have definitely sped up our relationship in a way neither of us could have expected. I'm not rushing to make any concrete plans for our future, but things are seriously so darn good right now. She makes me feel so loved and attractive and special. I just want to spend every possible moment with her. For all of you who come here at their lowest point in life, broken and profoundly miserable please know that it's temporary love will always win even if it takes a beating along the way this is the end of the post now let's go over to the top comments and response from the original poster read a comment whatever happened to the best friend did you tell him what his brother did that would have been hard after and i hope your best friend step up glad it worked out well for you all the best original poster I never told my friend. He was still one of my closest friends and maybe one day I will open up to him. But for now, I am okay with never telling him. He was supportive during the divorce, kept me afloat and I've always appreciated him. His brother on the other hand,